everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch, and today is Friday. That means it's another Coaster Friday. Today we are doing the suggestion by Amy Martin, and those are the Mandala Coasters. We're just going to experiment and have a little bit of fun with it. I'm going to be doing three coasters. I'm going to mix three ounces, so it'll be one ounce, one ounce, one ounce, and the first two will be just white backgrounds. And then the third one, I'm going to add some pigments to it, the Resin Obsession pigment colors to it just to see how it'll turn out. Now remember when you're working with the fast cast you want to work fast because it sets up pretty quickly. Okay so those two are in there and now I'm going to quickly split the remaining into three cups. Okay I'm going to add some pigment to it. Now remember that this stuff will turn out more of a pastel -y color because this does turn white, so we'll see how how well it does or does not do. This stuff is starting to set already. Oh, no. I did not have time to finish this. It set up too fast, so I'm going to do one ounce, maybe I'll do one and a half ounces. You guys, this stuff sets up so fast it's not even funny. All right, word to the wise. If you're gonna add color, do that one separate because this stuff is almost set up already because look at it, it's all hard in there. I couldn't even pour it. Okay, now I need to work fast. Let's see if I can get it done this time. I did about an ounce and a half. Now I'm gonna just start mixing the colors in. All right, I'm gonna just start pouring them in. Gonna kind of mix together. So I'm just gonna swirl them out around just a little bit. See how that goes. All right, I'm gonna let that sit. And these other two are basically hard already. It's crazy. I printed the mandalas out on transparency film, and I did a yin and yang one. I found, and I'll have a link to where I found them. Um, in the description below. Somebody has been asking for yin and yang for a long time and I came across this and I thought well that would be fun to do too. So now I'm gonna take my cutter and you want to set it to, I'm not really sure how they measure these things, but I have it at just before the 8. You want to practice just on a piece of paper to see you know if what you cut is gonna fit into the coaster mold, but this is just under four inches. Okay, now I want to cut these out on the shiny side. Center it on your image and then you're going to want to go around it two, three, maybe four times just to ensure that you're cutting it. You know, it cuts through the paper really easily. Sometimes on the transparency it's going to take a couple times of going around to get it to cut all the way through. But it will do it, just like this. So I've mixed three ounces of the Easy Cast and I'm going to pour some into each of these. I'm going to hit it with my lighter. I didn't do the lighter on the fast cast, and I guess I could have. It wasn't perfectly smooth, but it was pretty smooth. I knew I was going to do another layer, so I wasn't too worried about it. So first I'm going to take the yin and yang, slide it right in, and I'm just going to press it down. I thought this was pretty just staying black and white. Now you want to cut your transparency film to be just under, and size your photos, just under four inches because then as you press down the bubbles have room to come out of the sides. You don't want any bubbles trapped underneath there and you can see them. Then hit it with your lighter again. Now here's one that I colored on the computer. Press out those bubbles. Last one is going to be our psychedelic one and I'm going to slide it right on in. So you just do whatever interpretation of a mandala that you want to do. Have fun with it. There's no wrong or right. If somebody tells you you're wrong, they're wrong. So we're going to let these sit a minimum of 12 hours before we come back and unmold them. Our coasters have cures so we can unmold them. Here's the yin and yang one. Here's the one that I colored on the computer. Then here's a psychedelic one. I don't know if you can see the details. Um, but that's just fun. Now if you have any rough edges, you can take a wire cutter, snip them off. Um, if you have any stray ones that are sticking up, um, you could take an old pair of scissors and cut them off. Do that when it's around 12 hours in. Be sure to let me know which one you like the best in the comments below. Okay, you guys, it is time for the fishbowl. Thank you for all the great ideas. 
And if you want to get your idea into the fishbowl, remember you have to add it to the most recent coaster video. Haley Rowe watermelon coaster. So that is what we're doing next week. Thank you guys so much for watching and remember life is too short not to shimmer so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Remember while you're here remember to subscribe so you don't miss a thing and be sure to check out some of my other videos. And remember you can also find me on Facebook and I love it when you share whatever projects that you are working on. Share pictures over there and that is facebook.com slash craft one. See you next time guys. Bye!